Hi, Dina. Hello. Oh, nice to have you here with us. Um, so, okay, when was I came to know about? We'll talk about what what, <laughs> what studio you have and all that. Yeah. But um, I came to know about it uh, before COVID. Uh, okay. There was a workshop. Um, a young lady was having. It was in District One. Mm. Okay, I'm sure you will now come to know uh, when and where it was. Uh, and uh, they told me you have to come, you have to hear this and all that. Ah, uh, it was I think with Hamad, uh, the um, the not the warrior. Uh, what's um, Norisher? Uh, yeah, Norisher. Yeah. Yes. So he was having it, and he said, "Please come and join and and just uh, hear this session." Oh, I said, "Yeah, of course." So uh, the young girl talked about uh, um, Paul as a fitness uh, thing and how it has come out uh, and all that. And uh, her name is Dina also. Yes. And she's Egyptian. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. She's uh, my best friend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. So I'm sure you were there. Yeah. You, you were there. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, yeah. I, uh, and then I forgot all about it, and it didn't cross, uh, m not my mom, but it didn't cross me anywhere, anything about that, until uh, a while back. Uh, again, I don't know how it happened, but in uh, on Instagram, I started seeing um, uh, these um, uh, clips. Uh, and all that about uh, loops and the pole yeah. fitness uh, and it was carousel uh, and I thought oh this is interesting and started following you and it was you and I started following your studio and all that and I got really interested and uh, so here you are I want to hear the story from you what was it that took you into that path and uh, let us hear it. Okay. okay. So uh, you I go back <laughs> as, as far as you want. I okay. mean, usually when people come, I tell them go back to high school or go. So yeah. wherever you're comfortable with to start, yeah. let us hear it. I'll give you a brief background. So I, when I was a child, I got uh, into a gymnastic class through uh, the school. Okay. And then it was just for like the whole semester and then they finished, they, they stopped doing that. Every semester they do something different. different. Okay. And when they stopped, I felt like, like, no, I, I, I want to do this, you know? And I went to my mom and I told her like, please take me to gymnastics. I Where is it. this now? In Bahrain or in Egypt? No, in Egypt. Egypt. I okay. was like probably eight or nine. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. If not. Um, and then she took me, she was like, okay, she took me to a gymnastics uh, class to check it out. But then like she saw like all men teaching girls and, 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 and whatnot. And she was like, she took me and she was like, no, I'm not gonna yeah. let, put, let, yeah. ha, let uh, a man touch you and all that. Like, like, no, she wasn't let's comfortable. Go. She wasn't yeah. comfortable. She was like, no, like, I don't know how they are. I can't leave you okay. uh, there. And I was heartbroken, you know? I felt like, oh, but I want to. And then she took me to a piano lesson. I hate it. <laughs> okay, that's completely different. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's how it started. Okay. So I always wanted to be upside down and to do like, like gymnastics things <laughs> and like work on my flexibility as a child, but I couldn't because of that. So years and years and years later when i graduated and worked as uh, in a so you newspaper. went to college you went to college, went to college in, what did you study uh, i studied uh, mass com uh, mass that? communication oh, and ma journalism oh, okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so um, mass communication and journalism and minoring in business and digital arts which okay. is graphic design um your choice auc yeah your choice my, my choice. choice yeah uh, it's at an American university in Cairo. Mm -hmm. I finished. I got a job in a newspaper. Nice. Al uh, Masri Diom is very famous there. Okay. Um, as a as an art director for a magazine under that newspaper, and then okay. I I uh, worked my way up to become a creative director there in the newspaper itself. 
So I had a really good position, a really good um, income and everything, but I was, I was still something was for missing. St- yeah. So uh, during these years that you went up to where you reached now, mm-hmm. uh, nothing happened towards going into gymnastics or into f- fitness of some sort, yoga, something. Th- it was no. on and off. Like I was doing volleyball at some point. Okay. Handball wasn't into mm, it yeah. much. Basketball hated it. Uh, I used to skip, <laughs> like I, mom would drop me to handball class and then I would skip and go like oh, okay. <laughs> with my friends. Like I was not interested yeah, at right. all. Okay. Um, tried gyms every time and okay. now and then, but never committed to a fitness. Like, And I was very, very unflexible okay. because I never worked on it okay. uh, as a child. Okay. So, so that's that. So no fitness background. Right. Okay. Um, so you reach now a point where you're doing good at work uh, at this uh, newspaper yeah. and uh, you're happy with your professional life, mm-hmm. but something is missing. Yes. So take it, take us from there. So, um, it was very random call from my, um, from my like sister-in-law. She called me and she was like, you know, there is this uh, studio opening up. It's new. The girl has a room in her place. Um, she's giving classes. And it's actually like two blocks away from your work. I'm like, okay, perfect, amazing. Let's try it out. <laughs> but I'm not sure, like, going to a stranger's house. And I'm not sure yeah. about Paul. And the, oh, all so the so stigma so about So she it. did say that it was about Paul. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. It's, a, it's only like yeah. a Paul. Uh, it's a Paul studio. Okay. So I went, um, I went to check it out first, and then I booked after to attend the class, and I found myself. Okay. Like from the first class, I just, I was like, this is it. This okay. is this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Why? You know, it's why. It's so liberating. Okay. So liberating. It's, you are really working out. Like, you finish the class, you're sweating. Mm -hmm. Like, and then the next day, you're so sore. It's It's a lot of upper body strength, a lot of flexibility, a lot of, um, a lot of core strength. A lot of also, um, emotions come up when you are challenged with the trick that you couldn't do. And then this is where you like, really see yourself and how you act in real life but in the class yes okay you know when you get a trick and it's like mm, it's challenging what do you usually do like when you get something challenging outside yeah and where something happened to you that is challenging what do you do you yeah, know how right. do you tackle these things right. and actually paul really helped me see that with commitment and with progress and with just like f- staying focused on your goal, you will get there. Okay. Like no matter what age, what size, whatever, mm-hmm. you will get there, yeah. you know? Okay. It's, and you will see progress every day if you keep looking at yourself and not others. True. You know? So because if you just look to, to the side, you'll be like, oh, you, you can get de- demotivated. You, Start comparing everything, yeah. but when you see your own progress, whether it's slow or fast, it there is progress. There is motivation. Exactly, and go. I did not know that my, my like I could lift myself up. I was that really was, skinny. That's, <laughs> that's what I was gonna just ask. I mean, you you said you were not working out yeah. and your body was not flexible, yeah. not. So how, how did you, it was just a gradual uh, growing your muscles and all that? Yeah. Okay. Like my arms were half the, my, the size now. Okay. I was really, really skinny. skinny. Um, flexibility came by time. Okay. Uh, especially my hamstring were very, very tight before. Like I could not sit straight when you like when you sit in an l shape yeah i could not do that like I, my back would lean back because uh-huh. of how tight my hamstring uh, is okay so to that extent you know uh my back would was uh flexible by nature okay um so you always like when you start your flexibility journey you see like like 
it's either your back is flexible or your hamstring yeah. is uh, tight yeah. or yeah. like your always it's it's, it's like something. half you have this something this side is, yeah. is more flexible than this side exactly yeah. so you always like when you when you attend the class you look you'll be like oh okay i'm progressing really fast here here it's Mm. It needs a push. It needs a, a, a the, hard uh, push, a push, you yeah. know. Um, so you st- you loved it from the first from day. The first day, yeah. And you started going what every day or almost every day, really, except Friday. No way. Yeah, <laughs> from the start. Okay. Because I loved it so much. Yeah. So, and it was right next to work, so I'd finish work True. and go. Yeah. And. Like I would go and like the teacher would be like, Khalas, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm running out of things to give. Like yeah. I need to give the same things because the girls would come once or twice uh, a yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. So she, she changes. She had to the, repeat it repeat again the for the, those guys. But so I'm taking yes. the same things basically, yeah. but I don't mind it. Like I, True. I yeah. was just like, keep me like I, I don't mind keep practicing yeah I, I love it so it was like one class only she it was started one, with yeah. one class one oh, class a day okay yeah one class okay, a it was day. just a small yeah. room with right. high ceiling like she had at the beginning she had uh, four four poles okay. and that's it yeah and it's just in her house, house yeah so yeah I I loved it <laughs> how did she uh, stud- start doing that she was yeah. uh, studying in London okay. and in in her university uh, they had pool classes there okay. so she oh as a class like as a class, class yeah yeah. Okay. yeah 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 not as a class as in like in uni like like activity right you know right. like okay uh, but in the university yes in the university yeah, okay. which is very like very uh, interesting uh, and then she like she in, got a, in a year and a half or something she became an instructor and then when oh, she wow. finished and ca- came back to egypt she opened the she started like teaching her friends and her sister and then like her friends would get her friends and then like she was like okay i might as well uh, open make, something yeah, something, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah um how were uh people taking that uh, in egypt in egypt in uh, my community, it was fine. Okay. Um, was not like there was not. Uh, I mean, it was yeah. only ladies anyway, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, only yeah. ladies, and they were doing it for fitness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did not get, at least, like in front of my face, I did not get any hatred or anything, okay. or like, yeah. oh, you were uh, doing a, a stripping or yeah. whatever. No, I did not get yeah. that thing. Thank okay. God. Even my family, like my family were like, oh, like even my dad was like, oh, but why do we do this? This is not a stigma around it. But it was just a comment once. And uh, then, yeah, I was he's like, okay. as long as you're happy, you know. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so uh, th- thankfully, I did not get any. Uh, OK, <laughs> great. Uh, so, t- so you're at work and mm-hmm. in the afternoons you leave work and you go there. Yes. How long did it go on like this? Uh, mm. And then what happened? <laughs> and then uh, because I used to go almost every day, uh, I became a poll officer, which okay. is a student, just like any other student, just want to help other students, students to, yeah. to, to As, level like up. Like a prof- assistant professor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, and it's a volunteer. Yeah, yeah, and it's like a volunteer work. Yeah. So I applied there to, to, to be like an officer and to help people because from how much it changed my confidence, it changed mm. how I view myself, how I I see what I was and now like the progress I have, and how it made me feel. Um, I wanted everyone to feel that, okay. you know? Yes. So yeah. like I would bring my friends to attend, um, all the students in the class with me, I tried to help them. So right. I I knew that I wanted also to to be a teacher. Okay. From from there, like yeah. when I when I help someone or like when someone books um, the studio Good. with me to practice and I help them and then they finally level up and I see that it makes me really happy. happy. Okay. So this is okay. where I'm like, oh, okay, then then I should pursue this and maybe be a teacher. And after, um, I think, a year and a half or two years, I became an instructor. 
And how do you become an instructor? uh, Are there any like exams that you have to take? Yeah, so it's it's uh, it was an online um, course that we we took, and then you take your videos, you take videos of all the moves that uh, are in beginners, and then uh, like uh, multiple choice tests uh, Mm -hmm. and all that, and you submit it, and then you get your certification if you pass. If you don't, then they come back to you and tell you, okay, you need to fix this, work, you need to uh, work on this yeah, more, yeah. and so on. And okay. I did it. Okay, and you became an, an instructor. instructor. Yes. In the same studio. Yeah, and okay. they then um, they moved into a bigger studio okay. with a bigger So place. it was growing. It yes. was becoming more popular. Yes. Were there... Anyone that you would, you know, you would talk about this to your friends and family and all that and encourage them to come. They would come. Were there any that they came and then they said, no, 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 we can't do this. I Yeah, there are people who would um, would come and because you get bruises. (laughs) Yeah. So they they would be like, no, like my husband doesn't like that I'm like all bruised up or oh, like okay. oh I don't like to see myself all bruised up or like so I prefer not to do that you know like they have their priorities oh, are different yeah that's interesting yeah. to hear yeah it's not because uh, it's too challenging and and it's hard this, yeah this is uh, also so there yeah, yeah yeah there is also this which is w- one of the biggest ones mm-hmm. um that people like because they see it's not as I'm not, I'm not just come I'm not going to class and holding the pole and flicking my hair. This is not yeah. this is not what we do. What the, yeah. They think that, but then when they come oh, and they see that it's, it's actually a, work, a lot of work. And you need to put a lot of work to 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 achieve what you want. They were like they they give up and they were like no, it's not for me. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I hear that a lot. Like it's oh like no, it's not for me. It's not happening. I'm like nothing happens like this. Like yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. So yeah. So you need to put an effort if you want to, but if you don't want to, then yeah. then it's not for you. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Okay. But yeah, it's no. There are people who oh, yeah. um, definitely who don't want like to. any any other thing in yeah. life that we do, and uh, it's either we're in it or 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 yeah. it's not or for us. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So you became an instructor, and uh, you all moved to another bigger studio and uh, what happened then and so I became and you're still working right you're still still working working. okay and then I I taught until um like for two more years okay and then I got married uh so I got married and then I moved to Bahrain right away. So wedding, honeymoon, Bahrain. <laughs> okay. Have you been to Bahrain before? That? Um, uh, oh. Only once um, because my brother-in-law was getting uh, married. So I, I was here. I came just to visit and okay. like see the place. Right. Where, like this is yeah. where I'm going to live later on, you know. Oh, okay. My hus- like, so my you husband were engaged was, already. I was engaged, okay. yeah. Okay. And and, uh, and he works here or he yeah. live, uh, I mean is he's Egyptian right? Uh, no, he's uh, Syrian with oh. French nationality. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> but lives and and works in Bahrain. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So you got married. You came to Bahrain. Yeah. So I had to leave everything behind. Right. You quit know? your job. Yeah. Quit. I did not quit. Quit then. Uh, because I am, um, I do graphic design, which is everything. Right. Your yeah. office is your laptop, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. So I um, started working from home from here. Okay. Uh, but it did not last um, long, like for a year or maybe less. And mm-hmm. then I quit because okay. I wanted to just move on from, okay. from Egypt. <laughs> what year are we talking about now? I came here in 2017. Okay. Okay. Uh, Good. January. Okay. okay. Um, so by 2018, I quit. You quit uh, because I started teaching uh, pole in a studio here in Saad, and uh, uh, this that, is uh, when this is when like my income was the same, if not if not yeah, if not even more than um, the income that I used to get in Egypt because 
you know how uh, like the one cur- one yeah the currency, the currency like one that. BT yes. here is like 50 pounds there sure sure so yeah. um, when I felt like okay I'm stable yeah. and I can let go of this because I didn't want to I want to focus my uh, my life here okay like I know that خلاص like I'm I'm gonna live here so I don't want mind here yeah, and body here yeah, you know yeah, yeah so tell me so you said that you started working for uh, for pole instruction uh, inst- as an instructor for pole fitness yeah. in SAR yeah so it means already there was such a thing here and yes. Bahrain had started yeah okay yeah. so uh, I um, I wanted to teach anything um like anything 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 at the beginning so i would go um and i didn't have a car back then so i would go with uber and go to all the gyms and ask them like if they have flexibility classes because i teach flexibility as well okay if they have room for um, for pole yeah um but the, there was there wasn't any yeah. except yeah. there was one studio in budaya I went, but I did not feel comfortable. Okay. Um, so I was like, no, I'm not going to... Pursue it there. Do yeah. the, there, yeah. although they had already poles there and they had before an instructor, but she, um, it did not work, work out. Okay. But everything is there, but I just didn't feel like... Yeah, yeah. the environment was exactly. not what you wanted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I went to... A ballet studio, yeah. and there they had actually classes there, and I went and I'm like, okay, I'm an instructor, I can teach. They were like, we only have two poles, and we already have an instructor that teach, she teaches beginners. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I can teach intermediate girls. We're like, whoever finishes this course, I can okay. teach. Right. They were yeah. like, no, like we're not <laughs> interested to expand or to expand or to make this, it yeah like we're just yeah. doing it on the side Sorry, okay and like hush hush a little bit okay so um <laughs> i'm like okay fine okay can i at least attend like i was that desperate okay, I so yeah, yeah, yeah. to even like i just want to be next to a pool uh, yeah uh, yeah <laughs> i want to go back to to how it made me feel right you know because it was it was hard for me the yeah. first eight months was not i was very depressed mm. i didn't have any friends I didn't have anything. Like yeah, of nothing. course. Yeah, yeah. It was you were starting a new life. Uh, also starting a new, a new life, life, you yeah. know, living with a boy. <laughs> <laughs> All that. So it's everything was very down at that time. And I'm trying, trying, trying to do things like, let me yeah, do this, let me do this. I just, I want to stand up, yeah. you know. Okay. So I... I'm like, okay, can I attend? They were like, no, it's full. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> so... Months and months passed, and there was a girl that I know as a friend of a friend that, um, like, my friend, like, they just, like, she, she told me, like, okay, go out with her, get to know her, because I didn't have friends then. And then her friend used to go to classes there. Oh, okay. So it was, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the connection, that's the network. Exactly. Yeah. So her friend actually um, told my friend, like, by the way that the teacher that you that is teaching Paul got pregnant and can't teach Paul oh, anymore. Oh, okay. And I'm pushing for, for Dina to start teaching there. Is she interested? I'm like, yes, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Please, let yeah. me go. What a question. Yeah. <laughs> so I went, I started teaching there okay. on two stage poles. So stage poles are different than the poles in our oh, studio. Oh, okay. It's, it's a stage and pole only held from down there's no like there's oh. no so oh, it's a little bit uh, okay. wiggly Ligue, yeah it, it, they use it more for photo shoot for events for beach or workshops at the beach okay, things like that. The, okay. Only two. i started with four students and then in no time i used to have nine students in the class on two poles so people would actually pay for one hour but they get to use the pole for 10 minutes only Wow. So why, if Imagine. they saw that, why wouldn't they expand and, and you know, build more poles or... I I pushed for that. Yeah. I really pushed for that. But they but were not. They, it was, um, for them, it was something to be ashamed of, 
not something that really is like fitness you know like oh, okay. they didn't even um advertise about me you know like i had to start advertising about yes, myself so, yeah. and sponsoring my own post and like okay. that i'm teaching because they wouldn't do that like yeah they're just okay. way of thinking is not like mine yeah so although it was really successful they didn't want to make it bigger because they don't uh, want noise and so, okay because yeah it's, I, it's I, a ballet it's studio a, it has its own like uh, uh, culture of just ballet, ballet and art. Uh, this is hip-hop, art. Hip-hop. Yeah. Yeah. So this is it's artistic, but Paul is not artistic. And th- this actually like really um, like moved pushed me, you? pushed yeah. me to actually, you know what? Why am I being here? And they're like, I'm not, I'm not seeing the the appreciation of my passion. Like, right. Yeah. And like, I was like very, very like you know, protective over my sport. You know. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to open my own thing then. Right. Like I, and I had that in mind. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I don't know where to go though. Okay. But I'm like, you know what? No, uh, خلاص, I, yeah. I put it is, there. Uh, Manifestation. Is, yeah. And this is what we're talking about. Uh, 2019? Uh, Before 2019. So still yeah. we're in 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, actually one of my students she uh, she's uh, she goes to uh, she used to go to cobra gym and work out there in uh, zinj okay. in hala plaza yeah um, yeah oh yes uh, yes yes, yes. Right. this is where i started okay Carousel. and she told me like by the way uh, there is a co- uh, there is a gym uh, ca- called cobra uh, it's it's uaa based uae uh, sorry yeah. based and uh, they actually have a post studio there so when they opened here they made sure they ha- they have a studio for Paul, Paul. Okay. but it's empty like people pray go there and pray and like it's uh, nobody uses it nobody uses it, uses it. Uh, are, you okay? like, are you interested I'm like of course uh, so <laughs> again <laughs> what a question <laughs> so like things just happen, happen you know but yeah. I before they happen I I make that decision in my mind. Like, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. And yeah. subhanAllah, like, yeah, it that's, just happens. That's the thing. When you put it out there mm-hmm. and you have your mind open to it, yes. it comes your way. But you have to be open to seeing it when it comes your way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm like, yes, sure. And then, then I went and I sat with the manager and then they wanted it to be th- like under Cobra. I'm like... No, I want to have my own thing because I'm like, I want to feel like this is my place as yeah. well. Um, and then we agreed and then I opened Carousel in Feb 2019. Okay. It's yeah, I'm trying hap- to. Yeah, yeah it yeah. all happened. Like, that, 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 so that, it that, was that, that, that. Carousel under Cobra. Uh, yes, uh, Jim. Yes, yeah, yes, but yes, it, yes, but yes. it was yours. It was under mine. Them. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is and like it how started it started from there. Yes. Yeah, now I remember. <laughs> I remember I heard uh, that there was uh, a pole fitness in in Hala Plaza. Hala Plaza, yes. Yeah. Okay. So and uh, then it was one y- room. It grew, and uh, yeah. you decided to open up to, your to own. Open stuff. up. Yeah. yeah. I actually. When did you open up uh, this one? First uh, uh, of January. Of this year. Of this year no way yeah. <laughs> so it's it's okay it's fairly new so uh, what happened in covid covid we had of course to, we had to close down uh, we everything. had to yeah. um, focus on like business wise we have to focus on actually pushing students to have their own poll at their house and oh. a lot of students actually did, did. Yeah, because we uh, sell polls, like Carousel sells polls. So you, is it easy to... to yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to talk yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. it's very easy. Like you just measure from the from the floor to the ceiling. Uh, if you have gypsum, you have to create a hole. Right. Yeah. And then you also measure and then you give us the measurement and then we send you the quotation. Okay. And then 10 days and like it's... Okay. it's uh, yeah. It's in your place. <laughs> yeah, so I'll tell you, so I started following... Um, um the the instagram posts yeah. and and seeing that and getting you know i was looking at, at this and i saying oh my god how can they go up there how can <laughs> they, they do these movements and all that and then the ad came up that you had this introductory 
course yeah. for a month. And I said, you know, because to be honest with you, I I am I exercise a lot and all that. But lately, I haven't been doing a lot of uh, fitness as uh, building muscles. Yeah. And I've reached a, a, a point where it's I, I'm bored. I don't like to go to the gym and and do the weights works and all that. I do it once or twice, and then then I uh, although I am uh, you know very dedicated, but something is not clicking anymore. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, I said, you know what? Let me go and try this because I'm sure it has a lot to do with uh, with body work and yes. a lot of core and mm -hmm. muscles and all that. And I want to work uh, on my upper <laughs> body, so I signed up. And um, boy, am I sore <laughs> the next day! And it's fun, <laughs> you know, it's fun yeah. because there's music. And there are these girls over there that they want to challenge themselves. They have different things in life going on, mm -hmm. uh, but they want to do something for themselves. And I'm looking at them, and uh, it motivates me to see them challenging themselves and all that. Yeah. And I want to challenge myself. And I say, you know what? Let me. Let, I mean, I'll do it for a month. I'll yeah. see. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. If it works, and then and then. Uh, when the instructor does a move and I say, you must be joking. <laughs> How am I going to get up there? And then when she breaks it down into movements, like you have to do this, you have to move forward and on that. And they say, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, not that it, it automatically comes, but it becomes yeah. easier. Yeah, yeah, of course. And so each it is, class also, each yeah. class you, um, because you, you take, uh, especially with the intro course, you take something the first class, second class, you revise, revise it, it, and then you yes. add. Yeah. Third class, you revise the first and second, second class, class, and then and you then add. add. And then yeah. the fourth class, you revise the first, second, second third, and, and then, then you add. add. Okay. So the first class becomes خلاص. Yeah. Y your body understands it. You okay. Know? Second, I hope so. The second class. <laughs> I hope my body understands <laughs> it. <laughs> the second class a little bit. The third class a little bit less. But then the like, but because you've done it four times right. already. Yeah. It's practice. Plus it's it's practice. as yeah. everything else. Um, yeah. but, but I love it because it needs a lot of work. Yeah. And if you're not into it and you're not into putting a lot. Yeah. You wanna, and, and that's where you said it's challenging you're challenging yourself yeah. um as in and even the way is. like the way the um, we teach we teach intro it uh, the content we give it's very feminine right uh, yeah it could also poke could also be uh, uh for 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 guys as well yeah. and it's yeah, so yeah. cool like they do flips and they do drops and it's it's, <laughs> it's amazing yeah, yeah. Like, uh, i'm sure i'm like yeah. i'm very jealous when i see like <laughs> men like do so many things i'm like yeah. oh, well because uh, <laughs> again uh, they're, they are they're stronger yeah, they are. Uh, body wise yes. they're stronger than us so but yeah, I'm yeah sure. in this yeah. in this it's even the movement is graceful Right, you know, yeah, it's very like yeah. you, how you climb, how you come around, how you do twirl, yeah. you know, like we, even like we have moves that are like very uh, uh, pirouette, for example. Mm. A pirouette is like the b ballet, yes, you know, yeah. or uh, all these yeah. moves. Like you feel like okay, I'm working out, I'm gaining muscles, I'm gaining flexibility, and also I'm fe I feel like. I'm a woman. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm I'm not doing like in the yeah. gym. Yeah, you know? exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So wonderful. It's, it's so a, it's a package. Yeah, so I see um alhamdulillah and uh, and uh, yeah, and when I came there I was very surprised because it's almost full yeah. and girls are coming in and out and most uh, of them are Arabs as well. Yes. Which is amazing. Yes. Yeah, yes it's not yes. just oh no, no. for foreigners oh, only. No, no, you know? no, no, no. Mix, very mixed. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, um, good luck. Thank and you. And thank you for coming in here and telling us your story. Thank you so much. And all the best. We, you never know. We, you might come again in a, in a year's time and we'll see inshallah. where we have reached. Thank inshallah, you so inshallah. much. Thank, thank you so you. much. My Thanks. pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>